Hey there, and welcome to Iron Man Completionist, the series where, well, I complete all of RuneScape while playing an Iron Man account. Now while RS cannot truly be beat, there are still many challenges and goals that are offered, all of which I will complete. This includes hunting for all the items in the game and filling out the entire collection log, taking on every boss and challenge OSRS has to offer to complete the combat achievements, and of course maxing the account and accumulating a killer bank in the process. And here is that journey. Really? Is that like, punch in the face? No, elite clue, I don't want that shit. Got the elite casket, what are we gonna get? That is bad. But, I will take the master clue and the first step is doable, so I guess let's try this. I just got a back-to-back -back step. Okay. And the third step is already not doable. If only I had a BGS. I think I actually have the other two items in my house. Oh boy, I love this place. This place is very fun. I think I'll do more. <laughs> yeah, Carlos. <laughs> you left that place, you think you'll do more. <laughs> I think I'll do more. No way. 77 smithing at the Corrupted Gauntlet. You know what, just because I already know I'm going to miss it, we're going to get 94 hit points here during this Hunlift kill. And lo and behold, I did in fact miss it, but there is 94 hit points. Just logged in for another day at the Gauntlet, and as it turns out, there has been a brand new update which allows you to recolor your crystal armor. Now after looking at all the available recolors for the crystal armor, I was stuck between green, purple, and black, but I think I have finally decided that I'm going to go for black. There's just something about the simplicity of it that just makes it look so nice. So there we go, let's make it. Put it on. Oh, look at that. Looks so cool. Uh, and while we're here, we might as well get another black crystal for when we get the bow. If this boss ever decides to drop it for me. Another milestone has been reached. Another 100 kills, putting us at a total of 900 KC for no enhanced crystal weapon seed. Ah, feels good, man. Surely we get it before 1000 KC, right? Anyways, with this being another 100 kills, you know the deal. Let's go ahead and hit a little price check on it right quick. 22 mil plus the crystals that we got so that is an additional 4.2 mil let's bank all that real quick we have a total value of 370 million and that's without what we're wearing right now which is actually an additional 40 mil so we have over a 400 mil bank total which is pretty cool and we have that 50 mil cash stack back well let's get right back to it yep yet another crystal weapon seed that is our 20th one so far No. Hey, at least I have my nature runes, though. 94 range at the Corrupted Gauntlet. Shit hit. Alright, come on, game. Come on, then. Yet another day of RuneScape, and we have been presented with the 10-year anniversary birthday event. So, you already know we definitely have to do this. And about 5 minutes later, we have completed the event. We got a bunch of cool rewards from this event, and of course, the half-full jugs of wine. But the best part is we get to celebrate 10 years of old school RuneScape, which is amazing to say. Hopefully I don't spend the next 10 years at the Corrupted Gauntlet. Stop. Please stop giving me these fucking seeds. I beg of you. So I ended up going on a two week trip and during this time I decided to take a break from the Gauntlet. Whenever I had free time I decided I was going to work on getting 82 smithing, 82 crafting, do a little bit of herb lore, and then do some random things here and there that just were not the gauntlet. And obviously because I was traveling, I didn't have my mic and my recording software set up, so there's just a bunch of screenshots. Decided to try out the Giant's Foundry for the first time, and it's actually surprisingly pretty fun. I did end up buying a lot of the mold upgrades while I was doing this little grind, so that will definitely be nice for the future when we come back to get the Dwarven outfit. During this time, I did actually manage to hit 100 million total XP on the account, which is really cool to see. We also managed to hit a new PB at Spori. And we got ourselves another master clue. This one required us to kill a bunch of black knights to get the white knight outfit. Which for being an elite task in Falador, I kind of wish the outfit had more use other than just a master clue step. Because it looks fucking awesome. But as you can see there, we did manage to finish our second ever master clue and it was horrid. For whatever reason, I did decide to take all the crystal keys in the bank and enhance them now that I had the crafting and smithing level to make them. 
We opened up the chest a decent amount of times, and uh, we surprisingly got something. The Dragonstone plate legs look pretty cool, but again, like the white armor, they don't really have too much of a use. Following this, we went right back to Herbor and got 83 so we could boost to make 10 anti-venoms for the house. Along with this, we got the Curator's Medallion so we can make a mounted dig site pendant in the house as well. Which means birdhouse runs should be a lot easier now, and we have the best pool you can make in the house. And for whatever reason, I got 77 mining too. And this is where the slideshow ends. We have been presented with yet another event in RuneScape, being the Easter 2023 event. Per usual, we're gonna go ahead and knock this out in like 5 minutes and then uh, continue our grinds. And yeah, like I said, 5 minutes and we've already completed the event. From this, per usual, we get our holiday specific items, being the two Easter eggs, and then we get these three rewards here, which are honestly kind of cool. I kind of like the duck hat. But with that completed, as well as all those other mini grinds that we did before, being the 82 crafting and the 82 smithing, I think it is time for us to head back to the Corrupted Gauntlet. No way. Oh my god. No fucking way. <laughs> yes! The back to back came through! We did it. We did it. We have literally. It took months. Literal months. My heart. I could. I could probably feel. You could probably see. My heartbeat through my shirt. That's how crazy it's going right now. Let's just look at that KC once again. 965s. Almost 100 mil off that one drop. Oh my. I cannot believe it was a back to back too. That's so funny. That means now we only need one more item to officially green log the corrupted gauntlet. Oh wait. I'm fucking joking. That's right. We did manage to get the pet. And uh, it was quite a while ago. Um, I've given little hints that I've gotten the pet throughout the uh, the past two episodes. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh. But uh, that officially green logs the corrupted gauntlet. And before we're done with this place, I think I will go for a thousand KC just to clean it off. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys my reaction to getting the pet as well. Oh, oh, what the fuck? What? Dude, there is no way. Did that really just happen after that last kill? Hit. Keep hitting. Guess one more hit, one more big hit. No. Hit. Big. 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 One more big hit. One more big hit. One more big hit. One more big fucking hit, please. No fucking way. Oh my... Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck this man. Oh. My. God, I actually just got pet before in hands too. I, I, <laughs> I can't believe this. I saw the purple text and I was like, what the hell is that? And then, and then I looked behind me. This is like top three favorite pets for me. I cannot believe I just got this. Look at it in the inventory. 398 corrupt gauntlet completions to get that. As well as 83 normals, but those don't really matter. Wow. <laughs> just, just wow. At least we don't have to insure anymore. Well, time to go for the back to back. And there it is, 400 total Corrupted Gauntlet KC. Will this be the Enhanced Seed? It will not. Honestly, I can say that I'm not too surprised about this. I know a lot of people that have gone dry for the Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed, so I expected the same for myself. And I'm actually not mad about it considering we got the pet, but if I reach about 600 KC with that one, I, I might get upset then. Until then though, the hunt continues. Let's get right back to it. Yeah, so we managed to get pet on pretty much the drop rate for the seed, and then we went pretty dry for the actual seed itself. But it's been 20 minutes, and I am still freaking out. My heart is still going crazy. My hands are still not steady, but 
I think we definitely have to go for the back to back to back. What are the chances? Okay, okay. We didn't we didn't get that lucky. But I guess let's go ahead and finish off that 1000 corrupted gauntlet KC as well as 100 normal completions just to make it real nice and clean. And then I will show you guys exactly what we've managed to obtain throughout all these kills. I also just now realized, and this is hilarious to think about, but out of all the bosses in RuneScape, this is the second boss we managed to green log. Like, <laughs> how did I manage to do that? I beat this before Winter Tot. I was supposed to go back for this stuff. Brand new normal gauntlet PB. There is a 5 minute 32 second kill. Got ourselves another new PB. There is a 5 minute and 31 second kill. And there is yet another PB on the very next kill, 5 minutes and 17 seconds. And there we have it, 100 normal gauntlets completed. And now we just have to do 30 more corrupted gauntlets and we'll have 1000 KC for that as well. Decided to go ahead and check out my miscellanea and get my approval back up to 100%. And while I was waiting for the weeds to grow, I decided to check my combat achievements and we just unlocked the easy, medium, and hard tier of rewards for some reason. We're not even like finished with them, so that's cool I guess. Let me finish up with this real quick and uh, let's go talk to Nomo or Namo or whatever that dude's name was. So just went ahead and claimed the easy and medium tiers. I don't have two inventory spots so I'm going to have to use one of these lamps real quick. Of course we're going to go for the herbal rex P per usual. And now we can claim that hard tier. What do we get from this? I'm assuming, yep, just another hilt and then another lamp which is once again going to be on herbal And this actually matches the fit pretty well already. That's kind of cool. But the reason why we actually unlocked this tier in the combat achievements is because they just had an update where you get points based on the tasks you do. So as of right now, I have a total of 330 points, which is just barely over the hard threshold to get the rewards. But this is actually really nice because if I want to get the elite rewards, I can now do Grandmaster and Master tasks as well to get there quicker as they're worth more points. And in some cases, some of them are actually easier depending on what I have to do. So I actually think this is a really good change and... I mean, you have to do all the tasks regardless if you want to be a Grandmaster, so it is what it is. Anyways, with all that said, let's go ahead and check out the rewards that we get from this because I, I don't even know what I get from this. From the easy tier, we have a 5% increased chance to get easy clues, which is pretty nice. As for everything else, it's pretty mediocre. From the medium tier, this is the main thing I'm looking at right here. I have immunity from the prayer draining effect at Barrows while wearing one of the normal hilts, which I'm going to be doing from this point on because I won't need prayer pots ever again there. Also the same effect as the easy clues from before, we have a 5% increased chance for medium clues which will be really nice for when I plan on farming out those ranger boots. And then for the hard tier we have the same thing for the clues, a 5% increased chance to get hard clues which is pretty cool. We have a 15 increased quantity for boss tasks. So now it's 50 instead of 35 for me which would be really nice if I get like Zolra or something. Along with this we get these benefits to God Wars which will be really nice along with the fact that I have infinite teleports to Trollheim now. That is a one slot teleport that I can literally just put in my inventory and I can go there whenever I want. Like that would be pretty nice for doing clues and then obviously like I said God Wars as well. But we also get three more commendation points from successful pest control games which will be pretty cool if there's ever a pest control pet but as of right now this is it's actually kind of useless. The same thing applies to this for item imbuing. I already have a lot of items imbued, but I do not have the Ring of Suffering yet, so that would be pretty nice when I actually have to get that. We now get 15 more cannonballs in the cannon, which will be pretty cool for when I do Corp in the far future or just whatever else requires a cannon. I just have not used a cannon on my account yet. And then lastly, we get this. So that means I have to get a Dragon Hunter crossbow now because I love the black crossbow. I've like literally looked at this on the wiki so many times and I really want it. But lucky for me, we now have that enhanced crystal weapon seed so I can make the Bofa go get the trident and I can do cocks whenever I want. So this is actually not that far away from us. That is unless we get unlucky with that too. But that covers that. Let's go ahead and get back to the corrupted gauntlet, finish off our KC and move on to our next thing. Well, the time has finally come. After 10 months of committing to quite possibly the worst grind I have ever pursued in any video game, we have finally reached 1000 kills at the Corrupted Gauntlet. Let's just go ahead and get this over with. Nothing for 1000 kills, but I don't even care. We're done! This was worse than going for LEM and CSGO in 2018. Platinum guns in any Call of Duty I've ever played or Kappa on my first ever Tarkov wipe. But it is finally done. And we can move on from this place until we inevitably have to come back for the combat achievements. But again, I just I just do not care. I'm, I'm just so happy we can finally move on. Of course, while we are here though, let's go ahead and check out the scoreboard. 
This is what it's looking like KD wise, not too bad. This is what our collection log is looking like, and it is pretty sad to be honest. We should have two of those enhanced, but doesn't matter. It looks clean. 100 normal gauntlets, 1000 corrupted gauntlets. It's so beautiful. And of course, here is the loot tracker as well. This is missing 15 corrupted gauntlet kills and 32 normal gauntlet kills, which come up to about 11 mil as well. So the total loot should be 333 mil. So a third of a bill. And of course, we can't forget to price check our inventory from all the loot that we managed to get from the past 100 kills, plus a few normal gauntlets as well. This, uh, this one I'm actually pretty excited for because, you know, well, you know why. 121 mil plus... 4.5 mil, so 125, 126 almost mil. That's uh, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. That's over a mil a kill. Another thing I'm looking forward to is seeing our total bank value after I bank everything, including my armor. Whoa, almost 500 mil? Oh my god. It doesn't feel real to actually be at this point. Like, it's crazy to think that I've actually been here for 10 months and we're done. It's almost hard to explain. Like, this seems crazy. Probably from your perspective, cringe as shit, but like, it's actually crazy. Anyways, enough talk. We're fine. Fuck you, beekeeper. Let's go ahead and make the item that we've been grinding for this entire time. Oh, the XP drop. The item in my hands. It's real. But how do I corrupt it? Oh, okay. Well, that was pretty easy. I'm aware of how much it's going to cost, and I don't care. I have so many shards, it does not even matter. Look at the red bow, but now we make it black as well, plus the outfit. Holy crap, look at that. This is surreal. And we still have 4,900 shards left over, so we won't need to do any more kills anytime soon to recharge our armor. In fact, while we're here, I might as well do this, just max it out. There's 20,000 charges on each of the armor pieces, plus an infinite ammo source from the bow. This can never run out of charges because it's corrupted. So this is our best in slot like rage weapon forever. Like I, I literally, we're going from rune crossbow to bofa. And now that we have that done, I do not know what to do with myself. I think the last thing we were thinking about doing was crafting because we can get the anguish now. We've had a Zenite in our bank for quite a while. And I think now that we actually have the bofa, it would only be fitting to make the Anguish to match the ranged armor set. So I think that we're going to go for 88 crafting so I can get a plus 4 boost instead of a plus 5 and make that Anguish as soon as possible. But of course, that will be for the next episode. And that is going to be it for this episode. For those of you that have made it this far, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to look out for the future episodes and subscribe, comment, and like. Make sure to check me out on Twitch and join my Discord, both of which will be linked in the description below. And most importantly, I hope all of you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.